In this video, I'm going to explain Lawrence Kohlberg's um, stages of moral reasoning. And Lawrence Kohlberg, he created some dilemmas, and they're just story prompts that he would read to children and adolescents and adults, and he would give them this story prompt, and then they would say, he would say, what do you think? Or do you think this should have occurred or shouldn't have occurred? Or what do you think the ending of the story is? And they would have to judge or explain the, the ending of the story. And the way that they answered kind of helped him understand the way kids and adolescents and adults think because their answers would be different. And so he developed, from those story prompts, he developed three stages of moral reasoning in which he said, when you're in this age range, you typically think about right and wrong this way. And whenever you develop into an adolescent, you typically think about right and wrong this way. And so his stages were pre-conventional, conventional, and then post-conventional. And um, one of the stories that he would give would be the Heinz dilemma. And um, Mr. Mr. Heinz would, um, in this situation, he was um, faced with not being able to afford a prescription that his wife needed to survive. And so in the story, Heinz stole the drug. And so Kohlberg would ask, is this okay? Should he have stolen this drug that he could not afford um, to save his wife's life? And then the way people answered would place them into one of his categories. And so um, the three stages, pre-conventional, someone in a pre-conventional stage, their thoughts of moral reasoning and understanding would be in self-interest. So how does it affect me? Um, kind of based on pleasure or um, punishment how how am I affected and then I would answer in a way that it would it would affect me the most so if someone in in this pre-conventional stage was thinking about Heinz they would say oh gosh Heinz should not steal because he's gonna go to prison and so they're focused on um, the reward punishment um, personal self-interest idea um, so then moving into an adolescent stage they're probably gonna focus primarily on um, rules. They're gonna understand rules and they're gonna think about right and wrong based in rules. So they might answer um, this dilemma by saying, well, stealing is against the law and so Heinz shouldn't have stolen and that was wrong. And so their idea of right and wrong is really focused in law and order um, and social approval and, and, and law oriented. And then if someone would have answered um, with this, this thought process that bases right and wrong something higher than laws, like there's these ethical principles that surpass uh, written rule and law, then they would have been put into this post-conventional idea that there are values that are higher than laws and laws can be wrong. There's right and wrong is above a law. And so they might have answered something like, well, um, that, you know, that pharmacist should not have been selling it so high. And um, his wife was more valuable than this person's income or something like that. And they would have been, they would have seen this law as um, maybe uh, below something higher as uh, humans life and um, there's this eth ethical principle that is based on something higher than law and order and so um, those are the theory that that is um, Kohlberg's idea of moral reasoning that you are going to fall into a different category um, based on how you answer one of these prompts and typically the younger you are the lower you might fall um, maybe in the pre-conventional um, or if you're you know, around um, childhood, adolescence, you might fall in this um, idea of rule oriented. Um, and then as you get older, you could move into this post conventional, but um, he even found that many adults were not in post conventional. They were still um, many adults in this frame of mind where they were very focused on on law and order and weren't moving into this post conventional idea of um, having something of morality higher than laws. Okay, so that is Lawrence Kohlberg's idea of moral reasoning and how we develop our understanding of morality.